is seeking more than a million dollars in damages for the broken arm, medical expenses, and pain caused to that teenager. Police Chief James Hamilton says there was no mistake. He says the officers did what they're supposed to do. It happened last October. The 16-year-old boy had emotional disabilities, according to his parents, and he was having what they call a mental incident when he refused to get off a school bus. Police were called. They couldn't talk him off, so they ended up pulling him off. Now, here's the video of what happened next. Be warned, you can see and hear the boy's arm being broken. If you don't want to see that, you don't want to hear it, don't watch. Here it is. All right, come on, bud. Let's go. Come on, Jake. Let's go. We're going to get up. Come on, we're going to get up. Let's go. Let's go. Nope, that happened. Yeah. Nope. In the lawsuit, the couple claims the police broke one of the boy's upper arms by forcing it behind his back. The police chief says officers warned the boy that if they had to take him off the bus, he might get hurt, and they said the officers might get hurt, too. The family's attorney is Kevin Lewibrand. He gave us a statement today which says, in part, the police told the boy that they were going to hog tie him, and they proceeded to put his arm in a lock hold and, with clearly excessive force, according to Lewibrand, exerted enough force to snap one of the strongest bones in the human body. Lewibrand says that's not how mentally handicapped people are to be treated. The boy was charged with obstructing governmental administration.